Hello, the British forces everywhere. It's an important job you do. And somebody's got to do it. So it's down to you guys and girls. Wherever you are in the world. You know we love you. And we're thinking of you. And we wish you were back home with us. Stay safe. Thank you so much, guys, for all that you're doing. We, we never do forget you. So a big Merry Christmas. Mwah. Happy Christmas. Oh! <laughs> Hello, soldiers. Well, for those of you who've been in the military for years and years and years will know this certain fact. Two years ago, you got one of these, OK? A fabulous box full of goodies. This year, you're going to get not a red one that you got last year, but this! Q fanfare! No expense spared, eh? This is full of great stuff just for you. We've also sent our van full of three blokes round the country filming celebrities and the British public who say how wonderful you all are. Obviously, I haven't met yet. This is the third British Forces Foundation Christmas film, and the idea of it is that uh, we get some of the most iconic, famous people in Britain to send you guys a Christmas message. Unfortunately, they weren't available, so we got Jimmy Carr. Right. Wherever you are in the world, you're doing a fantastic job. I'm staying out of sight down here in the bunker, but uh, just remember, uh, we're all thinking about you. Happy Christmas. Next question to you, eggheads. The phrases Joya Noel, Frelika Weihnachten, and Feliz Navidad commonly translate into English as what? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All agreed? Yeah. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and Merry Christmas from me. For Christmas, most people just, well, they spend it arguing with their families, but you're overseas protecting us. So thanks very much. Uh, well done, you. Merry Christmas. Huh? Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for being supreme and have an amazing Christmas. Have a really fun Christmas. Sorry for the camp wave, that probably wasn't necessary. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. A very happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas and a lovely new year. Happy Christmas. Hello, they just asked me to say uh, a happy Christmas to everyone. I'm, of course, very happy to do that. And um, we are thinking of you over here. Gentlemen and ladies, uh, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. To all you troops out there, wherever you are at this moment in time, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to everybody who's away from home uh, for Christmas. And I hope that it is very good to you. Yeah, well, they're talking now. It's going all right. Do you mind? Uh, Sorry. We're trying to record a heartfelt Sorry. message for the troops here. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got to run out of notes! We just wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Sending you all lots of love and thinking about you and hopefully we'll see you very soon. Happy Christmas uh, out there. Now, you may think that we've forgotten all about you, but we haven't. No. Uh, I've actually tied a knot in this hanky. Wishing all you boys and girls over there a very Merry Christmas. Well done, you're doing a fantastic job. And that's me saying, I'm thinking about you guys. So that wasn't very sincere, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there, there are 23,000 of you away from home this Christmas, serving your country in different capacities, men, women, girls and boys, and one of them just happens to be my nephew. Now, I know there's no particular reason why one should be more interested in the proceedings of the armed forces of Britain just because one has family, but one can't help it. And, and I think uh, it would be right if everybody imagined that uh, one of the people serving abroad was their family, because we're all family, really, and what you're doing for us. I don't want you to think it's underappreciated. I don't know when the British armed services have been more stretched, not since the Second World War, probably. I don't know what morale is like. Uh, ac according to my nephew, it's actually pretty good, which I think reflects very well on all of you. But Christmas is obviously one of the times when you most want not to be in a desert or in a bush or in some strange ship or under the sea or wherever it is that you are. And, um, and we're all thinking of you, and we all, uh, we're all very proud of you. And we all want you to come home safely in one piece especially my nephew, but you're all my nephews and nieces, so bad and happy Christmas. Uh, we just wanted to say uh, well done, and we know you're doing a tough job everywhere. It's not the film industry. It, it isn't like as tough as we have to deal with every day, believe me. But uh, you are doing superb work, and we are thinking about you and rooting for you, and uh, keep it up, basically, is what we're saying, isn't that it? That is exactly what we're saying. Keep up the good work. We're thinking about you here at this Christmas time while we're watching a Bond film. 
eating turkey. And you're stuck in Camp Alpha. John, come and say Merry Christmas to the... Yeah. I've got the... I've got the... I was going to say, I've got the British Armed Forces on the phone, but they're not. There's a camera. They're filming this. Okay. These are the same guys that did Osama's videos. Oh, yeah. They are. Yeah. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. We're from 8 out of 10 cats. Happy New Year as well. Happy New Year? Yeah. I mean, how far ahead are we going? I don't know. Easter? Uh, They've been there 10 years. I mean, there's every, there's, uh, there's every reason to assume they'll be there at New Year's yeah, and Easter. Because I didn't do anything for the last nine years. So I kind of owe probably a bit more than a... Yeah, come on, 10 years, guys. Sort it out. Happy Christmases and Happy Christmas. We'll have you home by Christmas, but we don't know which one. Certainly not this one. <laughs> Hello, we are Stereophonics. Wishing you a very happy Christmas and a happy New Year to all the forces out there. And we want you to be sure that all your family and friends and everybody in the country is thinking about you and to get back safe, be well. Thanks for doing a great job. Yeah, thank you. Hello everyone, happy Christmas from all of us here to all of you there, thanking you for all that you do. Having said that, let's be honest, it's Christmas over here. The weather's shite, you're probably getting a tan, having a bit of a laugh with your mates. I've got my mother-in-law coming around, yeah, 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 that's what I've got. That's what I'm facing, mother-in-law coming around, Getting pissed, moaning, as she always freaking moans because more of my wives is not. But listen, lads, you have a great time, yeah. You enjoy your bleeding selves over there, having your sunshine, and having your mates, and having a bit of a giggle, yeah. Don't worry about me. I never got a Christmas message off you, did I? Thanks. Yo, it's Westwood, kingpin of the car game, ride with a big dog. I've really got a message to all the people in the services, man. We really appreciate the hard work, the difficult job that you do, and the sacrifices you make. I want to say much love to you all. I went out to Camp Bastion and to Kandahar, and it was a life-changing experience for me. Big up BFF, who took me out there for the first time. Much love to them. Looking forward to coming back out there. Hello, everyone. Obviously, you can see I've been dragged into the picture to add a little bit of glamour to your Christmas. Yes, I know that you're thinking I'm a lesbian, but I'm not, actually. I'm happily married. Uh, unfortunately, my husband's not, but pff, we can't all be happy. And um, you're probably quite pleased, looking at me, that you are a long way away from home because you know I would chase you around the Christmas tree and try and get you in a Christmas pudding. Um, so I'm sorry if you're having a rubbish Christmas away from your families and you're missing them, and I hope you all get to see them fairly soon. Um, but I can reassure you of one thing that might cheer you up. I'm not coming over to see you. So there's a bonus. Come on, you cause the British forces, you can look forward to a, uh, a unscheduled visit from David Cameron. That'll be fucking thrilling, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Massive. <laughs> probably St. Clair, though. Well, they said, yeah, probably will say, yeah, send Clegg and go, don't worry about security. Yeah, yeah, he'll be all right. He can yeah. do a bit of work for you while he's out there, he's doing it. Um, uh, take care of each other, and again, Merry Christmas. Up guards and at them. Hello, boys and girls. Oh, no. <laughs> what are they? The boys and girls. There's, yeah. there's girls over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who cares about them? No, I'm joking. Hello, boys and girls. Merry Christmas. It's Alan Carr here. It's a really important job you do. I'm reading this off a card. I haven't got a lazy eye. Someone's <laughs> got to do it. And it's down to you guys and girls, wherever you are in the world. I think you're doing an amazing job. And just promise me you'll come home safely so I can give you a big kiss at Heathrow when you land. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, they, they, just in case you do start laughing in the middle of this, it's not funny. It's a, it's a message for the troops. Hello again. You, you've already had my Christmas message. I, I did it before, and now, now they're following me because I'm here at the comedy gala. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't laughing at then. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, by the way, I'm not just a lunatic. There is some talking in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on last. Last. That means by the time I go on, everyone is laughed. Yeah, going on last at a comedy gala like this when there's 50 comedians on, it's like being the plumber in a porn film. Wishing you the very merriest of Christmases and hope that you'll be home soon. To be honest with you, whatever laughs I'm getting out of you, which doesn't sound like a lot, is probably the most laughs I'm going to get. And now I've been made to stand in front of a camera and try and cheer you up. Happy Christmas to all the troops all over the world, on submarines, on boats, in tanks, under cars, fixing stuff, but especially all of those who are in submarines, because obviously, uh, you know, having a Christmas tree down there is just not going to work, because it's a fire hazard. And you know, the uh, 
is not going to let you have the uh, have the Christmas tree down there. Uh, but anyway, for all the other troops who are uh, above ground, well done and enjoy all your Christmas trees. And uh, I hope that uh, San Santa or Santi, as he's known in Ireland, uh, and I know uh, a lot of people get confused with that because Santi is actually a South American dictator, who I hope you all catch. Well done and happy Christmas. Right, so Osama bin Laden, well done. Jihad it coming. That's my. That was my summer, Joe. Why isn't it? Just had it coming. Just want to wish all you uh, troops are, that uh, are abroad, all you boys and girls, a very happy Christmas and most important, a healthy new year. You know, we, we are so proud of what you do for us and we all think about you away from your families at a time like this. It must be very difficult, but believe you me, we, you are being thought of by everybody at home. Uh, happy Christmas to, uh, to everybody, wherever you are, whether you're, uh, you're fighting um, and defending us over in uh, Afghanistan or wherever, or you're just chilling out, looking after penguins in the Falklands, or uh, going on a banana boat in Cyprus. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing and wherever you see this, uh, God bless. Life in England wouldn't be the same without you guys. The job you're doing is amazing, and we know that it takes a lot, and you guys are going through a lot right now. You must miss your families as much as they miss you, and it's hard times. But at the end of the day, we just want to let you know that we miss you. You're doing an amazing job out there. We wish you the best Christmas ever. Yeah. I feel bad to say that we're going to be eating a lot of turkey for you. We, we don't know if there's any turkey out there. We hope so. If not, we're going to have a leg for you and a wing <laughs> and a potato. Guys, truly, carrots. truly never give up on something you can't go a day without thinking about. We love you guys. Dappy, Talisa, Faisa, Nana. Merry nice. Christmas. Take care. Well, good luck in the next 10 years. Is that okay to say? Are we making that announcement at Christmas? <laughs> good, good luck in the next 10 years. I don't know if you've seen Carry On Up The Kind, but the, the way to frighten them is not to wear pants. <laughs> I'm learning all the time. I'm learning all the time. Guys and girls, you're so phenomenally brilliant and we so appreciate everything that you're doing and we know the sacrifices that you're making the sacrifices that you're making to your families and not being safe at home with us and i can't tell you how much we appreciate it be all you can be well that's that's what the marines in america say be all you can be here it's you know join the military free hat uh, I'm sure it's very difficult being away from home and your family on, on such a special day, but uh, never forget we are all thinking about you guys out there. So, I know it's not much, it's just a little film, but it's there to say thank you, we're thinking of you, especially right now at Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs>
they obviously plan ahead. <laughs> I thought it was a little early to do Christmas messages, but I, I, 